Hello and welcome to IB Times TV. My name is Vincent Balasheri and I'm here with Luke Villapaz, the multimedia producer for IBT. Hey. Hey Luke. Good being here. Uh, so what you and I are doing today is basically a rundown of some computer related gift stuff for the holidays coming up, right? Absolutely. Um, console gamers typically are the focal point for most media um, outlets. So I felt like I wanted to approach it from a uh, standpoint of what to get for your PC gaming um, relative for the holidays. Okay, so why don't we start on your end with these nice black and blue headphones from Logitech, I believe. Yes, these are the Logitech G430s. As you can see, um, they're very lightweight. Uh, they're also very cheap too at $80. Probably steal for any gaming headset. They're also surround sound. Right. Um, we should clarify. I mean, $80 sounds like a lot if you're getting a regular pair of headphones for, absolutely. Your, for an iPhone or something, but you mm -hmm. have to keep in mind that this is going to be for gaming and it's got a, a pretty decent headset, I imagine. Yeah, this is a wired headset, as you can see. Um, extremely long cable over here and also is uh, powered by this USB adapter, but you could also plug into your standard uh, audio jack. Right. for anything else. Okay, well, Phoenix sent us their uh, Nasita mouse, which is one of their gaming mice offerings. Um, this runs for about $96, I believe, or $97. And it's very lightweight. Uh, they actually have a laser mount, a laser sensor in here. Uh, performs extremely well. I actually did play Battlefield and a couple other games like uh, League, League of Legends. And what's cool about this mouse in particular, you can't really see it right now, but when you plug it in, it has an adjustable uh, DPI uh, sensitivity. So if you need to get that headshot, you just lower the sensitive sensitivity. Right. Or if because you, you naturally twitch. twitch. Absolutely. So. And you can just change it with these buttons right here. This device here is called the Anchor Astro 3. It's a $50 um, portable charger uh, with 12,000 milliamps, uh, milliamp hours, which means basically there's a lot of juice in this. Right. So you could plug in your iPad, iPhone, and or you know, Android S4, all together at the same time. And it put out the maximum of four amps. And even after a full charge, there's still plenty of power left over to charge another device. While I was doing research for the story, um, what I found was just like, game glasses, okay, well, what would I need that for? And for them, what at least what, uh, what uh, Gunners, the, they're actually from Gunner, they're actually, uh, they claim that it helps reduce eye strain, increases contrast and all that. The intercepts normally retail for about $69, but right now they're on sale on their website for about 52 at the moment. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, for, for that price, you're not going to get uh, a Japanese-made frame or a French-made frame or something like you would pay five to $600 mm -hmm. for that you were wearing all the time. But, you know, uh, considering it's, it's plastic and it actually fits someone with a gigantic head like myself, yeah. uh, 50 bucks isn't bad. So what well, you find, especially uh, in the gaming in the gaming world, when it comes to PC gaming, mechanical keyboards tend to be the big trend right now when it comes to gaming keyboards because, unlike what you would consider um, the standard keyboards these days, um, each of them are these traditional switches, which can be noisy, but you um, know when you hit them absolutely, and I think and you don't have to press down as hard because right. there's resistance, so. Pre Press on maybe like part part of the way it activates. And the last thing we have over here are uh, these wireless headphones that I might tip over. Oh, there they are, <laughs> the set of uh, wireless headphones from Corsair. These are the twenty one hundreds. Yes, the Vengeance twenty one hundreds. Um, these are specifically designed for PC, and you mm -hmm. connect them using uh, this USB dongle, which I don't have here right now. Um, what's really great about these headphones, I believe they retail for about one fifty. Okay. Uh, one forty nine ninety nine. And what's really good about them is that the sound quality really reflects that price. Like, um, right, are they, uh, I'm guessing, well, it's obviously Dolby. Uh, is it 7 or is it 5.1? Uh, 7.1 surround Dolby. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, again, that's why they're $150. Yeah. Well, it's not like across the entire spectrum from the low end to the high end bass and treble. Uh, it sounds extremely clear. So even if you're blasting at a full volume, uh, whatever, whether it's uh, Battlefield 4 or some EDM beat, I, you're going to hear every little detail with that. And what's really cool is that, you know, obviously wireless, they're tethered. So you could walk around the house, just listen to your music from your PC, and you don't have to worry about anything like that. And um, that, I believe, that's 150 These are about, I believe, the M95 is about $79.99. Okay, that's and not And the bad. keyboard's 150 as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that about does it for us. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Luke. There's a lot of stuff here. It should... Uh, 
keep our parents pretty busy. Yeah, of course. All right. Pleasure. Thanks for coming on. Yep.